What are you doing? Never mind. Hey, uh, you on for track? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. I'm Nico, by the way. I'm Jack. Do you guys really think this is the entire class? Beats me. I don't even remember signing up for this. Oh yeah, I thought this was something my advisor put on my schedule. You guys aren't science majors? I thought that's why I was automatically enrolled. I'm a photography major, but I'm here anyways. It's like I'm in high school. Where's the professor anyway? Class started a minute ago. My name is Professor Thornpe. Do you want to know why they call me that? Because it feels like thorns when I pee. And speaking of thorns, today's lesson is in biology. Wait, guys. There's something in my mustache. There's something in my mustache. Stay back, kids. It's bad. It's really bad. Oh, oh thank God. Yeah. What even is this class? This is Science 101, and let's just say it's going to be the most quality, hands-on education of your unimportant life. Uh, is this part of the core curriculum? It just appeared on my schedule. It's, uh, 50 credits. Hmm. Uh, I never received a syllabus. What's the grading outline like? The outline is... Always think the Thornpy way, and you'll be scientastic every single day. This guy's a lunatic. I heard that. That attitude will get you nowhere. I may very well be a lunatic, but I use it to my advantage. What's your name? Corey Alberta. C minus. What? Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Now today we're gonna invent a new fruit. Is that even possible? Hey. That's not thinking the Thornpy way. Yeah, but is it even possible? Uh, of course. Now who can tell me what this is? You. I'm Cassidy. It's DNA, right? Yeah, and do you know how we're going to infuse it into this plant? Well, I have some ideas. Okay, good. Can I see that? I just have to find the right nerve on the strawberry so that the DNA can fuse nicely. What kind of DNA is this anyways? It's lemon. I'm thinking if we combine strawberry with lemon, it'll make like a straw lemon. That'd be awesome. I think I had a soda that tasted like that once. Hey, uh, you could be a bit more generous with the juice there. Squeeze it all. Are you sure it might be too overpowering? Come on, we need that extra lemony kick, right guys? Don't care. We need to squeeze it more. Uh, what's happening? It's gonna leave a film in the classroom. Um, are you sure this was lemon DNA? Uh, let me see. Oh, wait. Nope. That was my Aunt Mildred's. This is the lemon DNA. My bad. Okay, so I did the math, and apparently that thing is gonna release deadly spores within minutes. When it releases those spores, everyone within a 30 mile radius will ingest poisonous gas and die. That being said, 100 points extra credit for whoever catches that thing first. Catch it? You mean kill it. We can't kill it! This is a historical breakthrough in science and like anything the world has ever seen before. What we have to do is stabilize it without destroying it. 
That's true. And plus, Daddy needs his new fruit. I am so dropping this class after today. Well, I'm not. I need these credits to graduate. And right now I'm failing this class, so I'm gonna be the one to catch that thing. Like you're gonna be the one to catch it? All right, come on. We gotta work together on this if we're gonna do it right. Like, is this really about your credit? This is life or death. Well, I'm gonna go catch that thing. You guys have fun. Uh, uh, it's Cassidy, right? Can you think of any way we can take that monster down? Well, the professor and I can work to formulate a serum to revert it back to its infancy stage, but it's gonna take a few minutes. Okay, good. You do that. Meanwhile, the rest of us are gonna go look for that monster. Try not to raise suspicion. Of the right triangle as expressed by the Pythagorean. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What are you doing here? I don't know you. I. We. Um. Uh, I know what you are. Yeah, you're just a bunch of hooligans. Uh huh. With your shenanigans sneaking into classroom. Well, you just get out right now. <laughs> this ought to catch that thing. Hey, I have an idea. We'll make it slip. I think this should work. What do you think, Professor? Yes. Oh no, what now? What's going on? Yeah, that's Aunt Mildy for you. And then we threw a bucket of water at it, hoping it would slip. What? Don't you know the water makes plants grow? We need to call campus police and have everyone evacuated immediately. Wait, wait, wait. There's no need to alert the authorities here. Uh, Cassidy has our solution. Well, at least I think this could work. We'll have to spray the plant monster with this. But it looks like it's too far away. Wait, can I see that for a second? Nico, you're on track, right? Yeah. Okay, take this. This is the track, and that's the finish line. Run as fast as you can. I'll do my best. Do you think they'll make it? Relax, we got plenty of time here. That plant's gonna start spinning around in circles when it's about to release the deadly spores. Okay, we're screwed. Can't eat this, but good work. Class dismissed. Nice going, Nico. You really saved us back there. I mean, Cassidy's really the one who saved us with that potion stuff. Yeah, and you were the one who came up with the plan in the first place. You know, this professor does know what he's doing. I mean, didn't he say something about using our skills to our advantage, or maybe he wanted us to work together? You're right. We just had to think about it the thorn pee way. He must really be some kind of genius. Yeah, anyone who creates a monster like that has to be one. What did I miss? The plant turned into a baby. Okay. So who gets the extra credit? Not you. This class sucks. But at least it's 50 credits. Do you guys think we're gonna almost die in every class? Probably. Yes! 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 What's got you all excited? 
You're not gonna believe this, guys. We made the news! And we should be happy about this? Like, people could have died. Oh, uh, I guess we'll try and be a bit more safe today. Now who wants to play with live voltage? We'll never speak of this again. Class dismissed. What is this? I think I'll eat this. You eat books? Yeah, how else does one learn? Wait, no, no, that's Cassidy's. I'll run it over to them real quick. Hey, you forgot your book. Oh, thank you. I didn't even realize I left it there. You didn't have to run all this way to give it to me, though. It's just a warm-up for the big race tomorrow. Thanks. Uh, I owe you one. <laughs> Whatever you say. See ya. Bye. I owe her one. Sneaking into the building after school hours, shame on you. Are you sleeping here? Maybe. So what are you doing here? I don't know. Nico was so nice to me earlier, and I just wanted to repay the favor. I was hoping I could figure out some way to help her here in the lab. Well, you're in luck, bestie. You ready for this? It's Nico's kicks, her running shoes. I teleported them here using science. Oh, I get it. So I can return them to her like she returned the book to me earlier. But wait, it gets better. Tachytonic fluid? The compound that increased the speed? Bingo! in there. Oh, just some stuff. You want to do the honors? With the effects of the tacky tonic fluid, Nico won't be the fastest player in tomorrow's race. Yeah, but it'll only work if Nico really wants to go fast because the chemicals are tied to her emotions. Right. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, how about you let old Professor Thornpy get some sleepies now, all right? Wait, Hanko, you forgot these. Thank you so much. I was looking all over for these. Where did you find them? Hustle over here, scoop tea! You'll we'll have to tell me later. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing like some good, honest sportsmanship. Guys, I ran 583 laps in one minute. I think that's a school record. Good job. Thanks. All that practice and determination really paid off. Congratulations. 
But let's be real here, it was all thanks to Cassidy. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done if you didn't get me my shoes on time. Yeah. And also the fact that they scientifically enhanced them to make you run at the speed of light. You what? Oh, I thought I'd repay you after you gave me a textbook back yesterday. So all of that was a lie? That wasn't real? Well, I guess when you put it like that, it doesn't sound so great. For shame, Cassidy. For shame. I worked so hard for this, and you didn't think I could do it on my own. That I had to cheat. Nico, uh, just leave me alone. I feel horrible about what happened. Yeah, you messed up pretty bad. I have to figure out how to make things right. You must have some sort of invention to help me out. Well, we could go back in time. What? You have a time machine? Yeah, but I try not to use it too much because there's about a 10% chance we'll just die instantly. Well, there must be something we can do. Something we can invent. Unless science doesn't really have all the answers. Oh, science does have all the answers. But you can't expect it to get you out of every tough situation that comes your way. Sometimes the best thing to do is just own up to your mistakes. Yeah, I think I'll go now. Thanks, Professor. Don't mention it. Scoopsy, my star runner! How are you doing? Coach, there's something I gotta come clean about. Oh, what's the matter, Nico? It's these shoes. They're the only reason I was any good out there today. They're magic and they make you run, like, really fast. <laughs> That's just nonsense, Nico. Let me see them. No! Uh, let me show you, they're just normal shoes. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Yikes! Here we go! Oh, this is bad. Well, this is really, really bad. Nico, what's happening? My coach put on the shoes and now he can't stop running. It's like they have a mind of their own. That's because the shoes are tied to your emotions. What? And your stress levels right now are crazy high. Well, of course I'm stressed. Today has been horrible. Well, let's try and talk through it. Whoa! I'm in China! What's happening? Look, Nico, I'm really sorry about what I did. It wasn't cool of me at all. I'm sorry I lost my temper back there. I was just disappointed and frustrated. But I know you were trying to do something nice. It's the only power! Sacrifice! No, Nico, you have nothing to be sorry about. The next time I do something so extreme, I'm gonna try and use my head a little bit more. I'd appreciate that. Whew. I'm gonna go home and re examine my life decisions. So, we still friends? Of course, dude. What a great end to the day. I just knew you guys could do it. Oh god, it's back. <laughs>